How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. In this video we're going to be looking at some budget night vision. Alright guys, welcome back. Now I've had this for a while now, uh, just kind of getting a feel for it, testing it out and seeing if it was worth bringing to you guys. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but once you reach a certain point in YouTube subscribers, you start to get a lot of emails and stuff from companies wanting you to review their products. Now, most of the time I tell them, no, I'm not interested. I'm not gonna push products out there that I'm not even interested in myself. But this is one that really interested me. So full disclosure, I did get an email from this company called OneLeaf that makes this digital night vision monocular and rifle scope. Now night vision is always something that I've really been interested in, but the big problem with night vision is usually at the price point that things like this sell at, they're usually out of reach for your average person but this is different. So I talked to the company and I let them know that I'm gonna give a fully honest review. If I don't like it, I'm gonna let you guys know. If I do like it, I'll let you guys know. So this is the NV100 Plus night vision system from OneLeaf. And in this package, you're gonna get the digital night vision monocular, which has a whole lot of really cool features that I'm gonna tell you guys about in just a minute. You're also gonna get a three to 12 by 56 millimeter rifle scope that is actually a good scope. Now we're gonna get in here, I'm gonna tell you all about the specs, the features, how this thing works and everything like that. And then I'll let you know if I can recommend it, if I think it's something that could benefit you. But before we do that, guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a big old thumbs up. So let's get the main thing out of the way right off the bat. Is this going to be the best night vision out there? No, it's not. But does it work? Does it let you see in the dark? Yes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but seeing in the dark is basically a superpower. A system like this will allow you to see in the dark when nobody else can. And that is a pretty amazing thing, especially at the price point. Now this entire system here, the night vision and the scope, come in at just around $400. And that's pretty impressive. For what this thing does and the capabilities that it gives you, $400 is not bad. Now there are a few different applications for a setup like this. Now this is definitely something that you could use if you are coyote hunting, hog hunting, things like that. A setup like this would be perfect for something like that. But you guys know we're not just a gun channel here. We talk a lot about preparedness here on this channel. And I really can't express to you enough the value in having something like this in an SHTF or emergency type situation where you are defending yourself, especially defending yourself at night or at distance. So let's just play this out real quick. If all hell is broken loose and you're in a without rule of law situation, a survival emergency situation, and you have things like civil unrest, marauders, people going house to house and murdering, raping, pillaging, whatever, a scope like this with the night vision will give you a huge upper hand in a defensive situation like that where they can't see you, but you can see them. So a lot of applications for something like this, not to mention it's kind of fun just to walk around in the pitch black with night vision. So you really have two different products here. You have the night vision monocular here and you have the scope. So you don't have to use these together. This is a pretty decent scope that you could use with or without the night vision for regular hunting and shooting and things like that. But when it comes nighttime in dark or low light situations and you need to be able to see, you can use this just as a regular night vision monocular or you can attach it to the scope. Now it's really super easy to do that. It's got a couple lugs here that just interface with the scope. You line those up, give it a twist, and she locks in place and now you have one total system. Now I'm gonna be rolling in some footage, looking through the night vision, looking through the scope, things like that. And we're gonna get in here and we're gonna take a closer look at the features. I'm gonna show you how to operate it and everything like that. But while I'm doing that guys, if at any point in this video you decide you want to get one of these for yourself, I will have a link to it down in the description below so you can purchase one for yourself. Now let's get this over to the tabletop and take a closer look. 
Now there's a lot to look at here. So let's take a look at the scope first. Again, this is a three to 12 by 56 millimeter scope that has some pretty nice features. So you have your regular magnification adjustment here on the back, nice smooth movements there. It doesn't feel loose or cheap or anything like that. Moving on up here, you have your windage and elevation knob. So you have a cap here that just comes right off. And then you have your adjustments there. Each click on this adjustment knob is gonna be one eighth MOA. You get some nice positive audible and tactile clicks there. I really like the fact that you can adjust this just with your thumbs. You don't need any kind of tool or a coin or anything like that. You also have the ability to lock in zero on this. So once you get this sighted in, all you need to do is take these two top screws out and then adjust the knob back to zero and then put the screws back in and that's gonna lock you in at zero. Then you can make your on the fly adjustments from there. Your windage is gonna be exactly the same and you have some good quality caps on there. Now over here on this side, you have a couple different things. You have your parallax adjustment here. So whatever distance you happen to be shooting at, you can set that knob and that's gonna do a couple things. It'll help you get a little bit of a sharper image uh, through the scope. It'll also help to eliminate any parallax that you're getting. And now right here on this outer knob, that's gonna be your reticle illumination. This does have an illuminated reticle. You can turn that illumination off and you can turn it all the way up to 11 brightness settings, just depending on how bright you want that illumination. And that's gonna be powered by your standard CR2032 battery. It is gonna come with your Picatinny rail mounts to attach it to your rifle. And it's also gonna come with flip up scope caps. Now it does come with one for the back as well, but I took that off so I could attach the night vision module. I'm gonna try to get you a view of the reticle here. There you go, hopefully you can kind of see that there. You have a nice crosshair there with several hash marks. Each one of those hash marks is gonna be one MOA. I'm trying to do this with my phone, so I don't know that you're picking up the clarity of it, but it is some nice clear glass. Those trees you're looking at there are probably about three or 400 yards away. And I will try to roll in a more detailed look at this reticle for you. And this is a second focal plane reticle. This scope is supposed to be waterproof, shockproof, and fogproof. Now going over to the coolest part, this is your night vision. This is the NV100 digital night vision monocular. You have your battery compartment here on the front. It is powered by a rechargeable 18650 battery. Right here on the front, that is your IR illuminator. So it does have a built-in IR light uh, to illuminate whatever you're looking at in the dark. You can also adjust that by pulling out on it to focus in on that IR light. You have your eye cup here on the back and it does come with several different eye cups, uh, just depending on what you want to use. And then you have your controls here on the back. At the top here is your screen zoom. So whatever view you're seeing in the screen, you can zoom in and out there. This button here is also gonna turn on your red laser. So if you press that button once, you can see there is a red laser here on the front. Right here in the middle is your OK button for when you're selecting things on your menu. That's also gonna be the button you push to record or take pictures, which is another really cool feature of this is that over here on the side, it accepts a micro SD card. So you can record whatever you're seeing through this monocular, you can record it and save it. I'm gonna be using that here in just a minute and show you the view through this monocular. Over here is your IR and color button. So you can switch back and forth between a color picture and a black and white picture. This is also you're gonna be your IR adjustment button so you can increase or decrease the intensity of that IR light on the front. Down here at the bottom, the magnifying glass is your digital zoom so you can zoom in and out. And then over here on this side is your menu button and your playback button. So you hit that to access your menu and if you press and hold it, that's gonna allow you to access any saved videos that you have on that SD card. Back here right behind your eye cup is gonna be the diopter adjustment. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to adjust the clarity of the reticle that you're seeing uh, through this optic. And then down here on the bottom, this wheel is gonna be your objective focus. So uh, that's gonna allow you to focus in on the image if you're looking down range and you have a blurry image, you're gonna adjust this and that's gonna adjust the clarity of your image. This adjusts the clarity of your reticle. Now to turn it on, you're just gonna press and hold and I can see that screen lighting up on the inside. Now I'm gonna switch over and give you an idea of what you're seeing actually through this monocular. 
all right guys so we're recording now and you can see uh, it's pretty blurry there so i'm just going to use my adjustment knob here to adjust that and as you can see you're able to get a nice clear image here there's my truck this does record at full hd 1080p now you can see i am on the color setting right now i'm going to switch over to the black and white all right now we're in black and white mode and as you can see this digital night vision is not like traditional night vision like a pvs 14 or something like that where if you have it on in the light it's not going to damage anything because it is just a digital image all right guys now here's the view through the actual scope i'm going to try to hold this as still as i can for you guys so you can get accurate representation once you attach it to the scope you are going to need to readjust the clarity of the image those green pine trees you're seeing off in the distance there are probably about 300 yards away i'm at the three times magnification right now i'm going to go ahead and zoom on in to 12 times magnification and then again you just adjust clarity of that image there you go nice clean image you can also readjust the clarity of your reticle again we do have the option to go to black and white mode this is what you're going to use with that ir light at nighttime. i'm also going to be showing you some footage here in the dark so you can see uh, what this looks like at night all right you can see my dog running out there this is a side-by-side -side comparison the left is what you can see with my cell phone. Now I'm gonna give you an idea of what this is like. Side by side comparison, walking into my shop here. The lights are out completely in the shop. As I look around here, you can see nothing over there on the other side of the room. Just to give you an idea with an indoor setting, completely dark. Now this is where this thing really shines when you have a human walking in front of it. It's just amazing the difference in what you can see through the night vision and just how clear this image is. All right, guys, now I'm in an area of my yard with no artificial light at all. You can see the side-by-side -side comparison on the left is my cell phone, but to me, it is pitch black out here. Now, if you look with the night vision, of course, you're seeing my lawnmower, trailer over there, tractor. There's my woodshed there can't see the woodshed at all with the naked eye the back of my shop here now even though I can see the vehicles over there and I can see the house you're seeing it better through the night vision now let's look out here across this field It's a huge difference, guys. All right, looking out across the yard in this direction. Look, you can see my dog there. Can't see him at all with the naked eye, but with the night vision, you can. Now this side-by-side -side footage is really what sold me on this product. Now I realize that as you're looking at this, obviously this digital night vision doesn't give you perfect clarity or anything like that. But the fact is, you can't see at all without it and that's good enough for me all right guys that is it for the nv 100 plus now just to give you my final thoughts uh i like it i like it a lot actually i think this is a great system uh is it going to be the best night vision available out there uh probably not but at the price point it's i think it's going to be really hard to beat uh it, it is digital night vision it's very different from something like your military pvs 14s or something like that but like i said at the beginning of the video 
this lets you see in the dark and that's just amazing to me i think it's pretty good quality the construction of it itself i think um it feels good and solid it feels like it's good quality it doesn't feel cheap to me or anything like that i think the image quality on it is pretty good especially at night it really went far beyond what my expectations were for this thing and you're just getting a lot of value for your money you're getting the night vision monocular with all of its features uh, you're also getting that 3 to 12 scope Again, each of these can be used as standalone products, but when you put them together, uh, it makes a pretty effective system for nighttime hunting, coyote hunting, hog hunting, things like that, and especially for those just-in-case emergency situations. The only negatives I really had was at 12 times magnification, I had a hard time uh, really focusing in on the reticle. I didn't have a problem focusing on what I was looking at. That was no issue, and I could still see the reticle, but I had a hard time getting a nice, crisp, clear image of the reticle at 12 times magnification. That doesn't mean I won't be able to with this mounted on a rifle when I have a little bit more stability. This is made in China, you need to know that. But overall, for the price and for what you get for your money, I think uh, it's definitely worth having and I think it's gonna be a great addition to my emergency preps as well. So that's it for the NV100 Plus from One Leaf. Again, I'm gonna have that linked in the description below if you wanna get one for yourself. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.